offer mode, which translates to pride, arrogance, or bravado. Yeah. What would you say the name offer mode means to you, personally? It's a Luciferian symbol for for my own uh, spiritual achievements and what I want to achieve spiritually. Makes sense. Pride, arrogance, and but not i would i personally feel like it's not the direct translation arrogance in the mundane sense but as you say in a luciferian yeah. sense the music of awful mode is deeply rooted in spirituality and gnosis being luciferianism and clipvatic magic yet spirituality is always personal and based on experience in the path the way it is interpreted on an individual basis is always personal and often unique with that being said what would you say is the ideology and vision of offer mode well the ideology nowadays it's it's uh, several currents draconian currents come to one because i i have uh, lyricists that uh, participate from from every corner of the world and uh, it's uh, many of them are are uh, members of the order draconis the dragon rouge uh, and but but some of them are not some of them are just their own uh, adepts that are high ranking in mm. in order like edgar carroll and and Nyundi. what would you say your inspirations are what or who would you say your inspirations are my inspirations have always been uh, the mysterious dom satanas by mayhem and uh, anything by morbid angel what goes into the creative process of your music i go into a trance state of mind when i compose what comes out comes out through my fingers and and uh, some of it is good and some of it is not that good and the material that is not so good is thrown away besides awful mood i want to ask you the question about your other project nefandus are there any yeah. plans for future releases with the last being reality cleaver in 2014 i can't really talk about that because uh, that's uh, that's something that is uh, within the band we are in contact but it is for the world to get to see if we are gonna release some, something new i know you used to be the drummer in serpent noir any yeah. reason why you stopped playing drums uh or not just in serpent noir but also nefandus but in general uh, did you instead start focusing on just playing guitar and composing music? Yeah, I started to notice that my legs are not fast fast enough any longer. So uh, I thought that uh, I, I have no I'm no competition to the to the <clears throat> drummers out there <clears throat> that are banging the sheet out of the drums today. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, so I started to focus on the guitar instead. The release of the split between Acherontas, Black Altar, releases soon, Draconian Elitism, June 21st. Yep. From the material, uh, from the other bands, and it's really, really good. Is so, it? you should yes. check it out. Yeah, definitely. Definitely looking forward to that. All three of those bands are actually three of my favorites. Or from Mood, yeah. Acherontas, I love them for long. Black Altar I recently discovered actually in, I think it was 2019. Yeah, that's when I discovered yeah. Black Altar. But yeah. I've been following Awful Mood and Acherontas for a very long time. Yeah. So I'm really looking forward to that split. Yeah. yeah.
<laughs> exciting times for Offermod. You're now back to doing live shows, eh? Yeah, with, with yeah. Members of Black Altar in the lineup. I know there yes. is, yeah, I know there is the, the union with Acherantas, Inferno and Black Altar, which results in a tour across Europe. This takes place October, November. Yeah, something 2024, like that. 2024, 2024. Yeah, 2024. Yeah. yeah. And then there's another, there's a mini tour as well with Black Altar in across Latin America in yeah, March America. 2024. Is there yes. any other live shows of Orphanwood before that, or will this be the official return? I think that will be the official return. The official glorious return of Orphanwood to the live stage in 2024. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. I know you recently started recording the sixth album of Yes. Or often what anything you want to reveal? Any contributions by other artists? At this moment, uh, there are five songs recorded, the guitars too. And uh, I have uh, three songs left for the album to be finished, and uh, two of them are written. So I have one, one uh, song left to compose, uh, and uh, then I'm going to return to the studio with Dev, Dev Anderson and... Uh, and finish the, the album. Oh, yeah, looking forward to that. I know you got Neighbors back on vocals, right? Yes. Perfect, perfect. Really yes. looking forward to that. Uh, the last album, Mysterium Iniquitatis, released in 2021. It was a masterpiece, like all Orphan albums, may I add Thank that. You. What would you say is the philosophy behind the album? The philosophy is... Uh, a very close cooperation between myself and Belial. I was very possessed by him at the time when, when I wrote the album. And also working with, with forces like uh, Lilith and Azazel. It's evident in the lyrics. At what age did you start playing guitar? 12. 12. Yeah. And uh, did you start playing black metal or did you start playing something oh, else? I... Jazz or something maybe? <laughs> I started, I started playing Smoke on the Water. So. Everybody starts playing Smoke on the Water. Me too. And then after that, what did you start playing? I listened to Iron Maiden on, yeah. on tape and uh, started mimicking their playing style. And then I discovered a little harder music, uh, yeah. like Mobile Angel and Celtic yeah. Frost. Yeah. The dark side. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Started playing like that. So, what were some of your favorite artists and bands back then, growing up? My favorite moments were when when they played "Freezing Moon" by Mayhem on on the local radio uh, channel. That was once a week. Power Hour was its name, and they played the thrash metal and death metal of those years. And one day they played the. Uh, Freezing Moon by Mayhem, and I was uh, like blown away. Yeah. Uh, just the vocals, uh, how how grim they were. Then I got the Fuck Me Jesus demo by Marduk. Uh, I started worshiping black metal. I still like Day Side and uh, Morbid Angel from the death metal scene, but uh, I, I was hooked on black metal at a young age. What do you enjoy doing besides music? Do you have any hobbies? I don't have any hobbies right now. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, I, I don't uh, go to the gym like I did for some years ago. and I, I just focus on the music and the magic. Anything you would like to say to the fans of your music? Keep on being yourself. The great dragon bless everyone who are born under its sign. Do you have any advice for anyone wanting to start a band? Please don't start a band. Why not? <laughs> That's my... why, why not? Because there are already too many bands in the scene. But what if it's uh, something that you are deeply... Um, you, f you feel attracted to it, like your calling, your essence, it vibrates with you. You, you want yeah. to make music. Go full in uh, for it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah.